need to breathe, taking a stroll through the park. It's a beautiful park and a beautiful day. Yeah, it's a beautiful park. I think the casino must have donated this park to us. Well, to me. <laughs> what are those flowers in the planter box? It's a pretty blue and green color up there, if you look. Wow. I love the planter boxes and the greenery coming out here. It's great, it's wonderful. We need to see more of this like wall gardens or something of this nature for future developments. And I just found something really cool and interesting with that. And seeing these around, it's like a one-seater car. No, I think it's an electric car. What is it? Not unlocked, it's open. What, what is this thing? It's a twizzy. A twizzy? <laughs> I'm not feeling the twizzy. I'm just not feeling it. Like why? Why, because there's no space here or, you know, and you can park? Is that why? Beautiful old building. Majestic. More of these planter boxes place in the world where I found a safe shop to store all your gems and money and gold and things. Never really seen that anywhere else. It's amazing. Just over the border, only a couple of minutes, 550,000 euro you'll buy this in Paris. Then across the way, you're up for 5.9 million euro. 19 million. Oh my god. No way. Who would seriously 19 million? Here we go. This is the cheapest property I've seen in all of Monaco. A studio 24 meters squared, which is uh, 980,000 euro. It is pretty expensive. That's like 40,000 euro. How about that one? Still 40,000 euro. Check out this Harley Davidson. Very nice. Three and a half thousand euro a month for a 45 square meter uh, apartment here in Monaco. It looks pretty far out though, it doesn't look very classy. It's still a lot of money. <laughs> it's heaps of money. Wow. Brand new R8, the new model. Love the R8. Look at this place. In the center of Monaco. Park place. Wanna well, look in here? Let's have a look, man. Yeah. The whole world is crazy. <laughs> After coming here, it's just like, yeah, wow. Big balconies at this condo. Only penthouses here. It looks like one unit per floor. Very hard to see as the light is blinding. And I'm just trying to get in the shade at the moment. And on the top of the ridge there, it's super high up on the very top of that ridge there are villas so at the top of this ridge here you can see just well, i hope you guys can see there's a lot of villas and it's really high up so can you just imagine the view over monaco from those villas. Headed home, it's been a bit of a wipeout for me, but look, it was a good experience. I'm glad I got to see Monaco, and I will be back. Yeah.
and we're still shocked that it's only 8.30 euro here in Monaco. Yeah, this old Porsche. Looks like a 1994 model out of Bad Boys. People have tagged it up. Bad Boys, it is the bloody Bad Boys. It's the uh, rare Bad Boys version. Attention. <laughs> yeah, it looks like uh, they parked here illegally or something and they're not coming back. It's very strange actually. Or maybe he's going on holidays. Custom Grand GT Porsche, never seen that before. Alright, here we go. Leaving Monaco, I'm afraid. I'll be back some other day. Nice new design. Yeah, it does really remind me a bit of Hong Kong. Uh, I feel like I'm in mid-levels in Hong Kong or something. Bye bye Monte Carlo. Alright, we just got out of the tunnel to Nice and bye bye Monte Carlo. This is him. Bye bye. Sad to leave. My money behind in Monaco. This is funny. This is actually a walkway, but this guy, I mean, there's a sign saying you can't drive here, but this guy's decided, you know, he'll just drive here. <laughs> Ridiculous. It's crazy driving here in France. This is how people park in France. Are you serious? You gotta be joking me, honestly. Poor BMW bike. today or well, Friday it's the weekend the weekend's coming here in Villa Franche Got all those mega yachts in the harbor today in Valais Franche some uh, close to Monaco and there's a little black to the left hand side a little black stealth looking boat which is really cool too. 